In this episode of OS First Timer, Dinah will be attempting to make her own early 2000s website in Microsoft front page from 2003. Will Dinah manage to create a believable website or will she get stuck picking a theme? Keep watching to find out. So here you are on the desktop of Windows XP ready to go and try out Microsoft's last version of front page. Microsoft front page 2003. So to continue, go find and open the program. Okay, well, start. It's a program. Um, yeah, oh, it's a part it of Microsoft straight Office. Away. So what am I doing? Some sort of a Word document thing or what? Well, you probably remember attempting to make a website ages ago using my unprofessional HTML Live program, which had you mostly creating a website from scratch while directly using HTML. Right. Well, this program, now discontinued, was a great way to make websites for those who didn't want to learn any HTML. In fact, it's what you call a WYSIWYG program. A what? A WYSIWYG. Um, it stands for What You See Is What You Get. WYSIWYG. Okay, I thought it was I some didn't make sort up of that a term, wig though. or something. <laughs> I was trying to think, what, what type of a wig is WYSI? So okay. what you see is what you get means what you're editing. Instead of like my program, you probably remember you had yourself typing code and then mm -hmm. that got you making the website on the side there. This is you're directly editing the website, like you okay. directly, what you see is what you get. So you, you'll get the picture. So your goal today is to create two pages of a website from a pre-existing template. I'll be mildly guiding you through some steps, but what the website is about and how it looks, it's all up to you. So okay. go ahead and create your site. Wow. I've really got to put my creative thinking <laughs> cap on to try and come up with a whole new website. So you're saying it's two pages and I'm going to be following some sort of a template. Yep, that's the well, great thing about this. You didn't have to know HTML and be good at designing things. You can mm -hmm. just follow a template. So over there, you'll see at the side where it says um, create a new page or site, just under the word open oh, yes, over there. Oh, yes, there it is. Create a new page or site. And you want to show a bunch of templates. Yeah, that, well, that, that's perfect. Okay, so here we go. We've got a bunch of options here. We've got one page website, corporate presentation, uh customer support website, database information. Um, then you've got some easier ones, more like personal, like a personal website or um, project website. Mm -hmm. So what do you think you'd like to go for here? There's quite a few different templates. I, I can't even imagine what I'm going to create. Um, well, you well, can you always just click on one. Choose one. Okay, you've set me a project, so here we go. <laughs> so, okay. Yep. So these are all the files of the website now. You can, What's when, this, all this Diana files and I don't even know anything about this? <laughs> it's automatically created on? all of this, okay? It's all the header and the footer and everything. Now, what you want to open here is something called the index. The index is what people first see when they first enter your website. Okay, so um, it's like your home page. Mm -hmm. So you just want to double click that. And now you can start designing. Now, this is what your website would look like. You can see this very, very basic website. See, everything they see in here is basically the website. So okay. it says, Project Abstract. I'm building a treehouse in my backyard for my four-year-old son. I hope to have the treehouse built by midsummer. Oh, so it's basically a, a little bit about what it's about. Yeah, and... and it's like that. This is almost the homepage, but you can make it say anything. You could add more to this. And so I can, can change the headers here. And yeah, everything. you can change every... What you see is what you get. Um, if you click preview, that'll actually just show you what the website would look like if someone was viewing it. So that's, let's say they went to Diana's well, website. It's not much of a change. Well, yeah, that's the idea. It's what you see is what you get. It's, well, it's... what's the point of even having a preview? Because oh, you don't because need a preview. there's a few little, um, like, visual things. So I'll actually go ahead and open that in a browser now, just so you can see what this looks like. And then we'll start modifying and choosing things, okay? So here you go. Here it is in a web browser. The cool thing is about web browsers is it's suited for multiple screen sizes. So if someone's got a screen like that or a wider screen, see how it changes everything yeah, it based on the screen size. Yes. So let's just pretend you're on the website and you can think, oh, I'll refer to my schedule. And then you can click and see the schedule there and you can go discussions to see things like this and home. See how it's already got like a template with all the features at the side where you can click on different things here. Mm. You know what I mean? But you Contact said I was only going to be creating You're a two You're creating page. two pages, that's right. So, you'll so home two pages and, from here. Yeah, two pages, home oh, and one okay. other. But we've got to give it a theme. This is blank. I know. So we're going to give it a theme now, okay? So how do you think you would give this a theme? 
You'd want to obviously change the format. Well, I need here. to know exactly what website it's going to be, and I mean that's right. Okay. Well, what do you where it says the word home at the top? Mm -hmm. Let's name the website. What do you want? Well, what do I want to achieve from this website? Is it that I'm I don't know. Is it an information website where people are coming to refer? You know, get information from? Is it is it an advertising website? You know, yeah, selling full of stuff. Products. We could actually we could have a page somewhere on the website full of selling things like yeah. products to buy, but products to buy for what? We got to choose some kind of something. A topic. So okay, so we're helping people. We're we're doing something because I like to help people. Okay. So advice on something. Advice on something. Let's just say, well, what's what's advice? Well, then you've got healthy eating. You've got um, financial saving money. What about just raising kids, raising oh, yeah. children? Well, that's a common thing. A lot of because I mean, <laughs> okay, common people do that. Yeah. Well, it's not, not everyone. Not, not everybody. Everyone. There are people yeah. that choose not to have children, okay. and that's perfectly fine. Okay. Well, raising so, kids. Can we snazz it up a bit? Raising kids. Look, raising children. In the in the twenty first century, maybe you know twenty first century. I'm just thinking it was two thousand and three. Like this whole website has like this looks through there. If a website looked like this, so today, in the two thousands like, type in thing. the two thousands. Well, what are they? We're in the twenties now. Okay, we're in the twenty twenty. So yeah, you'd call we're, we're in the twenties. Before yeah. that was the tens, and before that was the naughty. Oh, <laughs> 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 Raising children in the noughties. Yeah. Oh, well, well, 2000 the early noughties. In the so early raising noughties. kids in the early noughties. <laughs> well, you have that? Okay, we'll type it in there. Um, I, d I don't like you. Um, it d doesn't sound good to begin with. I mean. Actually, as a childcare worker, um, when I was a childcare worker, um, like in a big childcare centre okay. from 2012 to 2015, we, you actually are not allowed to use the word naughty. It's absolutely illegal. Well, at least we can use it. Yeah, we can heading. use it because it's, it's not there. referring to the children. No, it's referring to the, <laughs> the time period. You couldn't use children. the word bad either. You can never say a child was bad or naughty. You just, if, if a child says, like, let's say a child bit another child. We're talking the naughties, N O R T. I mean, I know naughty as in oh, yeah, N A U G. Maybe okay. we should just spell it as naughty as a pun on it. Okay, so naughty is. N A U, but the naughty is have, in the zeros is N O U. Been, I know, but I'm just thinking as a bit of a pun. Yeah. As in children being naughty and in the early noughties. You okay. Know what I mean? So remember, we're trying to refer to the early 2000s here. Yeah. But as in N O U G H, but we're doing N A because it's naughty, they're N naughty. So that's actually a term. They could, they refer yeah, to yeah. it as the early noughties. Yeah. That so that's funny? correct. It wasn't okay. widely used, though, but it was a term, the naughty. I think this is too confusing. I'm just going to go back and just make it as the naughty. So, okay. Because otherwise... So, so it's N-O-U. Okay, so raising children in the early noughties. Yeah. And it's the pun is there in itself. It's in there. Okay, so great. There we go. Yeah. So you've got raising children in the early noughties. Now, let's give a theme. Let's make this more kid-like. This looks very businessy right now. It does. I don't know. So let's change the theme. So where do you think you change the theme? The, the, you, it's the format of the whole website. Oh, format. Up there. <laughs> yeah. So I'm using words to try and direct you. So yeah, open that up. And now we need theme. to... Yeah. <laughs> I really helped you there. So at the side there, you've got all these available themes. Simply click on a theme and you can... There's a big scroll wheel so click on a theme um and then try it out so just let's go along let's click on a few try them out raising children nah. in the early noughties no they need something brightly colored with lots of oh actually they're what the brightly colored that was literally was gray that? style <laughs> no because there are a lot i prefer one with a blue background or like a not a white background i prefer something with just lots of colors is there a rainbow one or well, something let's keep having a look you can continue customising it. Like, this is just the start, yeah. and then you can continue. I don't really see anything there that's, like, rainbowy. Um, what about this? I must admit, I really like this one, because this is, like, it's got, you know, the green grass, the ch children, children yeah. on the green grass, literally. <laughs> the... And it's got this nice textured background. I like this the plain texture, white. yeah. And it's almost like... I don't know, that just reminds me of children playing in the dirt type yeah. thing. Well, we'll not, not that that's a good thing. Well, but... Let's remember X position, because I, I, yeah. I do quite like it. What's highway? Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. No, that, that looks like a work site. Yeah. Well, it was industrial, of course. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that, that looks like a worse Sort a of version of it, version yeah. of the one we yeah. like. Just rapidly move through. Oh, that's like oh, that's okay. So loose gesture. 
So exposition loose gesture. Those are our two favourites so far. Let's just yeah. keep going. We'll just keep on clicking on each of them. Oh, I don't mind that, but it's I guess it's too like greeny. Maybe if you're doing some yeah. environmental thing. Yeah. Yeah, I think I really like the one I've got actually, yeah. or one of the. I'm going to try and pick out of those two. <laughs> yeah. They they just give you so many options. Squiggly at the top. Yeah, I don't like that one. This one. The early noughties, and then you got all the... <laughs> all these circular. Sir, yeah, I just thought of that. No, I think I like one of those the other two. Oh, there's just so many. You could be here all day yeah. just choosing. Oh, look, wait, 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 that one was funny because the early noughties, noughties and they're all circles and looks the O's. Yeah. Now, you know, I think one of those ones that I've already... So it's this one. you liked? Or... Loose gesture, there you go. No, I think I like the other one. Yeah, me too. So let's go with that other one. We'll go with this. this. Looks, and it's nice, easy and to And it's earthy and as well, I think. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Mm. So we've got this. Now, this is your front page. What What are you going to have? So think of three titles on the front page. This, this, this. You can do a bit more, but let's just mm. keep it simple. So someone who was just, they just want a quick template. Well, so, you know what? I want to keep what's new. And also here, instead of key milestone, I mean, there are milestones. Yeah, we've, with we've children. Done shop here, we know. <laughs> Um, there are milestones, but let's let's uh, accessories, things that you can buy that'll help you. That with could your be another page, a whole page oh, to course. accessories for looking after kids, and we could have some funny. Oh, stuff key there. milestones! There's the the terrible twos. <laughs> Don't we know about that? Yeah. I mean, it's early. How about we start off and with Project Ask? What are we going to type? What's the main title of our site? Well, it's a parent help. Um, parent advice. The first title, Raising Children in the Early Noughties. The first title, What Are Children? With a question mark, oh, and then you describe God. what they are. <laughs> if <laughs> we don't know what that is, I mean, you need a lot more help than just that raising would be children. Such a fun, and then you have to try. <laughs> raising children. Okay, first of all, what are children? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be ridiculous. Um, it's title, so they should all have a capital. What? Uh, no, but I'm just saying that I usually do little, look, like, no, 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 look at this title, in the, yeah. see, they're small, yeah. so what are children, question. with a question mark, children are those annoying creatures <laughs> 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 that ask a lot of questions, ask for a lot of things, and require a lot of time and effort and <laughs> see as someone who's thinking of doing foster care at the end of this year i wouldn't use the word annoying little creatures but you can use the word <laughs> what you want I funny. i'm only just i know this, this is, is a, a comedy thing. light heart you know light-hearted fun it's it's not literal it's not you know you but it's a bit of fun yeah. that's all there are annoying little creatures that are very demanding but we're referring to Jasmine here, aren't we? We're not referring to me. It's a kid. <laughs> <laughs> but can be very rewarding. See? <laughs> can be very yeah. rewarding. Keep going, keep going. Let's, I mean, I'd be very upset if that was the entire description of a <laughs> child on a website. Like, what is a child, you know? <laughs> This is a parody website, okay? It's not really about raising children. This is just a parody. Jazzy. Philip. <laughs> oh, no. That's awful for Jazzy. <laughs> well, she hasn't come to the rewarding stage yet. But, I mean, you know, you have. Because, you know, you and me, we've got this lovely friendship together, so... But Jazzy, um... In time... <laughs> I don't know. They... Provide many challenges and can be a real test of your patience. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it has spell check in this, which is really great. I mean, my mm. my program didn't have spell check. <laughs> okay, they they provide many challenges and can be a real test of your patience. But then I want to say a positive thing. Yeah. Because it's like you say, I said in the beginning, annoying little creatures, very demanding, but very, very rewarding. In time. <laughs> they, provide they provide many, many challenges. challenges. can be a real test of your patience. Then what's a positive? But then can look after you in your old age? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Write that because it's a parody website. <laughs> I was just thinking the sequel to Raising Children in the Early Noughties could be raising teens in the 20 teens. Raising teens in the 20 teens. <laughs> yeah, get it? Like the 20 teens? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, 
they can because that, that the children in the early noughties would then be, be teens, teens, teens in the twenties. No, 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 no. yeah. Now introduce the website. This website will give you all the tips and tricks. Yeah, to, I think so. You know, will give you guidance and all the tips and tricks. Yeah. Okay. This website will give you all the guidance and the tips and tricks you can use to make... Raising your little ones. As positive as it can be, as opposed to not a living nightmare type. Yeah. Thing, so, but we're trying to be positive. Yeah. Okay. So let's just fill in the what's new and the key milestones, the so terrible what's... twos and the troublesome threes for the milestones. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that... Look, as a person who's done childcare and I've know. looked after all those rooms, like I've been in the Tiny Tots room, I've been in the Toddler's room, I've been in the early preschool room. Let's make the terrible everywhere. twos the second thing because it's the baby option, which is, you know, the... The sleepless in Seattle. We'll call the first bit sleepless in Seattle because technically when a newborns are, you know, very demanding, they're waking up all the time, a lot of them, well, let's just say you were a colic baby and you had me up most mm. of the night. Mm. And, and and lots of parents would agree that the very, you know, when they first bring that little bundle of joy from the hospital, they then... That's the start of many sleepless mm. nights. The least experience I had with children in the childcare centre was the baby stage, so the under one year old. Um, I basically, whenever there was a staff member that they were like, oh my goodness, someone's got to go home sick. Phil, you've got to come in here. And you hated that, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> I didn't hate it. It's just that I was a person who was often planning all the activities with them and stuff, mm. and it's very hard to plan activities on a child's interest when the child is unable to speak, because in the toddler's room and stuff, they're they saying, can oh, tell you what we, they we're, we're doing yeah. exercising, we went to the beach and stuff, and you can plan activities based mm. on those. But when the babies are there, you've got to use the nonverbal cues. And although I was planning activities for the babies and stuff, it's very hard compared with the toddlers. Anyway, Kim also has terrible t- sleepless in Seattle, terrible twos, Maybe the troublesome, troublesome threes. threes. I actually think the four-year-old um, age group is really fun. Yes, you know what? That was my favourite the favourite fours. Because that's fours. actually how I felt. Well, like when I always did like the because you're preschool room. Because you're room, out of like, yes, most of do... the tantrum stage. You're out of all this oh, sleepless. Oh, not quite. I, I've well... experienced a lot in the preschool room of what they can be like there. It wants me to spell it the um, American, American way. way. Just spell it the American way. <laughs> Favourite fours. How do you feel? You're in Australia. You write something how it's meant to be. No, you spelt it wrong. That's what the US people, you've spelt it wrong. You spell it the American way, Diana. You don't spell it that way. So what about the what's new? What are some new things we've just added onto the site? Let's see. What could have we have just done to this website? A funny article or something that we've just done or something new? Articles are good. Uh, personal experience articles where parents share a funny experience or a yeah. Let's have a bit of comedy in it yeah. because I can think of quite a few things that, um, yeah, articles, right? But I can think of a, quite a few things that you have done and said as a child that mm. has been very embarrassing and put me in a very okay. awkward situation. And So the funny moments. Funny moments. Yeah, actually, funny yeah. Funny moments. Um, and what, what's another thing that we've just added to all? Well, it could be also... Um, where to get them. What? Where to get the funny stories. No, where to get the children from. How to get like well, you, if you, you describe the options like for example if you don't already adopting know. fostering making yeah okay <laughs> and and the different types of Where making you know in a lab um, in your own human lab you know all the different types of ways Seriously? well there are multiple ways to make children you don't just make children the old fashioned way there's new ways with all gene gene stuff you know where you can maybe still get right because um, how to get them. <laughs> No, where to get them. And then put a little dash children. <laughs> so they know that it's the children that they're trying. Well, instead of them, where to get children. Okay, where to get children. Where to get children. And in a little dash, maybe, and how. <laughs> <laughs> so call up an adoption. You are really leading me into something here. Call that... up an adoption agency. <laughs> Why make your own when there's so many more out there that are ready? Uh, I won't elaborate. So this is page one here? Um, okay. I'm just thinking for the title here, you've got what are children. I almost feel like there just needs to be to space, because that feels a bit small there, hmm. just so it's um, spaced out a bit. If you had another little 
section here, not what are children, but like just another thing on this and just a little little text under it just to make the website look a bit How more How many filled. types are there? That could start a few. That could because, I mean, it's no longer, you know, male or female. We've got the whole spectrum. So in AB, the ABC Australia says there's something like 54 different gender identities now, mm. but I don't think we'd fit them all. Well, it depends how many pages. Well, I mean, you said that you can add in a whole stack of... Yeah, let's just keep... So what are children and... How many why types would... are there? Well, I'm going to say what colours do they come in, but then... No, you can't. The problem is we live in a time where... If you use any description, any way to describe a person, you can instantly be offensive to offensive. people when you're not meaning to you're be not offensive meaning, if you just to anybody. Want to describe... All I want to do, do is you know be what? inclusive the here. Do you know something really so, amazing? Mm -hmm. Children aren't born with the racist ideas in their mind. For example, when I was in the childcare centre, in a, the preschool room, one of the girls there, um, I noticed that they said, hey, Brownie, let's go out here. And I, I was like, oh, why do they call you Brownie? And she's like, duh, because I'm brown. But she mm. didn't feel that being... They, she was thinking it closer to the, um, you know, you eat a brownie kind of thing, and brownies mm. are brown. And, you know, it's obvious my skin is brown, so why not? But... Adults, Would although they should instantly be I, offended yeah, by that. As soon as I heard that, I was like, "Oh my gosh, that is so racist that they've mm. called you that." I didn't say that to the child, but like that was like, and yet the child inside. wasn't hurt, didn't think it and was, and they didn't offensive. find it racist. The child and and the other children, there was no racist, mm. you know. To but that just, says a lot in itself, you know, mm. the fact that children can just say things how they are. There's no offense. There's well. The adults are the ones that have the offence, not the children themselves. Yeah. You know, so it, that just goes to show that how it's quite a worry now. Yeah. It's very hard to describe any aspects now. No, children. I'm just going to say varieties. Varieties, okay. And just leave it open. And that's not meaning to be... Varieties of children. Just the varieties, the, you know. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of varieties. You can have mm. children who have different intellectual abilities you exactly. can have children different colored colors. hairs hair color. colors of everything yeah colors of everything skin hair eyes you know you can also have ones that talk a lot or ones that don't speak much at all so yeah non-verbal children yeah, as well you who can also absolutely don't speak at all apart from a few giggles and stuff like that exactly so the varieties can cut can cover Let's just say I wouldn't want to be the person that has to work on that page varieties <laughs> because that. I oh, know, but you've now got the whole you have to write about. No, I'm not going to. <laughs> well, what no, about I'm this? Have to delete this, it now. What about? No, well, you this, told no, me. No, this is a famous early two thousands thing. This page is current. This is not available. No, currently this is early two thousands under. Construction under, yeah, under construction. That was okay. a famous thing. Page is currently under construction. Please come back later <laughs> for for no, more just, updates. No, just please on, come back later. Yeah, That'll please do. come back later for more updates on how many kinds of children there are. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do a, a smiley <laughs> face. My finger slipped. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so well, that, that covers it. That, that's there we go. Okay, so that's like your front page. Now, mm -hmm. what would be the types, like the little things we've got here at the side? So if I actually come here, we can actually click on this. Mm -hmm. And you can come over here to link bar property. And if we come... Here, you can also change the theme of this if you wanted this to be different, but I like it to be the same as the I website. Do. But that's just an option for you, that just knowing it's there. Now, here we've got members schedule, and we can actually modify these if I'm correct. Let's just see. Use, oh, yeah. Let's just. So, yeah, people can sign up and uh, to Let this just quickly... and get updates Hello. and stuff. Hello, yeah, you can so you can change what all these are. So what would what would be the first one? So your website has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, supposedly seven pages, but we're only gonna sign okay. one more page. Okay. What would be the topic? So raise so you've got home. What's another thing? What is something you do with children? Rewards, mm -hmm. punishments. But that can be activities. controversial. No, but it wasn't con like there is no such thing as punishing a child in childcare in Australia now. Punishing a child does not exist. Um, using the word punishment does not exist. Um, for example, let's say one child bites another child. This is 
in my years of early childhood, what I did when I was in a child care centre, one child bites another child. That child didn't do any bad. They're not naughty. They're not bad. They just it's did the... something that was sad. That was very sad. Oh, why did you do that? That's so sad. We've got to go and get an ice pack and put that ice pack on the child. So, mm. but this is the early 2000s. This is the early noughties. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah. About yeah. this. We're, we're using the ideas and concepts of the early 2000s. So you can use the word punishments if you'd want or like to. Punishment does not exist anymore for children. But, you know, back then it did. Discipline. Discipline, okay. I think that's a better word. Okay, so Diana was on the phone just for a few moments. So just um, in that, I just added some things to make this, like, fill out a little bit more. I've got the dangers, watch out. Internet safety, don't let them online. Injuries, wrap them in bubble wrap. You know, you know how they're the famous Don't let them on- online? Well, that's, <laughs> that's actually very controversial. Because no, that I mean... was what parents were like back, you know. The 90s and stuff was a very, like, be careful thing, and now it's sort of getting, like, kids... So I think the internet is kids a live online opportunity now, a lot of them. for, you know, um, edu- let's even just say education these days. <laughs> I remember, and researching, I remember when I was a child and I had to go to the library and, uh, and borrow so many books, you know, and bring them home. And just that in itself took up so much of my time. Okay, fine. So internet safety, watch them online. <laughs> watch them. That sounds like, <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Like Big Brother. <laughs> okay. Actually, even more than Big Brother. That sounds awful. Yeah. Okay. Online. Watch a, watch what they do. Make sure they're not on some weird website that tries to I don't know do weird things. Now another thing. Watch that was, them while they're online. Never. No, it's too big. Now another thing they often did back then is wrap them in bubble wrap under construction. How the hell do they breathe? <laughs> What are you trying to do, kill them? No, it's a comedy thing. These are famous things you always hear. Parents always wanting to wrap their children in bubble wrap. Now, you can actually drag on an image. So I've just dragged on an image there I found online called Under Under Construction. Construction. And preview the websites. It's like like that, a GIF. So it's like all the websites, it's still under construction, which was a famous thing from back then. Websites were always (laughs) under construction. You know what I mean? That was more of a 90s thing, but like it's early 2000s. We can bring it in too. But this is like looking really, really good as our front page. Now, the other things we need to do is, um, what are the other things? So we've got home, discipline, schedule, archive, search. Oh, accessories. So, accessories. Let's say accessories because okay. you can buy things that help you. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of different books that you can buy. I remember all these childhood <laughs> books that I was referring to with you because, I mean, I had you very young. Okay. and so accessories. Type parents accessories. was very Let's new. fill this all out. Okay, accessories. Activities. That you oh, can do with children. Yeah. So, Fun what are activities. some things you would do? Just services. What about if you wanted to get some, like adopt adoption? That also comes under um, the where you can get them from. <laughs> well, if the site's going to say where to get them from, does discipline explain how you get a kid? You don't just smash a guy over the head and say, give me a kid. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> um, accessories? Do you get an accessory? You, you, you know, print out your own kit? No, it doesn't well, work. Well, they like... lap dogs that people have sometimes as an accessory <laughs> type thing. Maybe some people want to have a baby as an accessory, but that's bad. That's really bad. That that's bad. like beyond the border of realms of jokes and non I I wouldn't even have that one. <laughs> Okay. I think it's also a sensitive subject we just threw ourselves into. Yeah, I think like so Like it's such too. a sacred, wonderful thing to... Okay, Adoption. fantastic. Okay, click save at the top so it should update all these. So here we go at the side. You can now see home, discipline, accessories, activities, services, uh, advice, adoption, and you've got the same things here if they want to access Technically, advice the and discipline are kind of very... It's okay. Similar, but anyway, it's it okay. Matter. It's just filling in. Everything on this yeah. website really is advice, you know? Yeah, I guess. So. Um, so there we go. We've got everything here, okay? Mm-hmm. So this um, is oh, our first page. We didn't do our copyright or other statements or anything here. Okay, so what are you going to write? Copyright? Who? Who's made this? You know, the nanny from back in the um, that show. You know, the nanny. Super nanny. You super nanny. That with woman. Her, meow, 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 with that Copy, okay, copyright super nanny. I don't remember <laughs> her. <laughs> Like no, that. she does. She has that sort of like See, naggy. But I love that's... her. She's a great. She's so funny and everything. But she's got this really. She was very strict with the punishments on the children. I find like Copyright actually, the she naggy. was from the early two thousands. Yeah, she I know. That's from why the, I oh, said. That's why it's so perfect. That's why it is. It's not her nanny. It's super nanny. She was oh, super yeah, that's nanny. Right, super nanny. That woman was super nanny. But her stuff wouldn't fly today. Like in a childcare centre, like where I was there, it's absolutely illegal to give a child time out. No child gets. Time 
time out. You used to get time out. Time out. In case people, if you don't know what time out is, let's say a child punches someone um, and it's like, oh, okay, that was very bad what you've done. You need to go time out. Think about what you've done for the next half an hour. Mm. Sit on this chair. Time out. They you had to go in that. the corner somewhere. No and... child can be put in a time out anymore in, in child care. Can I just say, times have really changed <laughs> They have so really much. changed. So we've got copyright, super nanny for problems or questions regarding this website, contact coolkids at hotmail.com. You know Hotmail was yeah. big back then. So here we go. We've got, we've got the front page finished. So when they click on accessories now, let's work on this page. So accessories. Okay. Items you can buy or something like that. And then we'll have the things below here. Well, there was always buy. something I wanted to buy, mm -hmm. but it wasn't available. Yeah. When you were a kid. But maybe, look, this is a bit of fun. Yeah. You know, we can make anything available here. A remote control that you can pause, stop, rewind. <laughs> <laughs> I could have used the rewind button on you so many times. Some of the funny things that you... um. Do you know, there was this one time that we were in this, like, um pizza yeah. place, right? It, it was actually a club, but that it was a pizzeria um, part of the club. And there was a man's toilet at, off at the side... Yeah. And you, we were sitting at a table. In fact, there were lots of families and people and couples and whatever sitting at all these tables, you know, eating their pizza. And anyway, you needed to go to the bathroom. So you went to go to the toilet and you opened the door. You went in. Sometime later, this man comes out of the toilet and starts walking, you know, between the tables towards the exit sign. He, he obviously gone to the toilet and he was now leaving the premises. The door flings open of the of the bathroom area the, the toilet area and it's you and you're only bear in mind you're only about seven seven years old or something like that and you say excuse me you were so urgent about it you really wanted to it was it was so important whatever message you were about to live delivered was so important you go excuse me you forgot to wash your hands and this man who had just <laughs> walked out of this door this grown man he literally Pause. In fact, the whole room just paused. Everybody stopped eating and every, you know, it's almost like even the music stopped. Everything stopped. And then they looked at this man who also paused for a moment. His face went bright red. And it was almost like for that moment, he was trying to access in his mind, de deciding, should I go back in and wash my hands? <laughs> Or should I just keep going for the exit sign and hope to goodness that nobody ever sees me again from that place? He decided to take the second option and he just went straight for the exit sign, went out, and you were there. Excuse me. <laughs> so, uh, saying it even louder. Hey, uh, you forgot to wash your hands. So let's just say that it was funny as anything, but I was also quite embarrassed at the same time. <laughs> but no, I... I look back at it now and I think to myself, well, I shouldn't be embarrassed because I taught you well. <laughs> I taught you, you know, hygiene. And that, that's great that you did that. So while you were there talking about that little story and you said the kid control or remote control thing, yeah. <coughs> I said, ever wanted to mute your kids? What about rewind them after an awkward moment? Maybe you just need some time to think or do something for a moment. Well, be sure to try out the kid control or remote to pause, rewind and mute your kids. And what would that cost? What would you sell that for on this site? Put in a price here. So dollars... Can I just say that would be invaluable to parents? Parents would pay anything <laughs> for that. Really, but what would you to... pay for that? Let's let's say it was the early two thousands now, and you had that ability. Oh, I know. But, but it only works on kids. If anyone's over eighteen, it no, it's, uh, it's twelve and under. Twelve, 12, 12 and under. under. Okay. So it's a special remote. There should be a teenage one as well for <laughs> for teenagers. Yeah, but let's just say this one: the kid controller. Well, let's just say back then I was really, um, money was like pretty tight back then. And, you know, and there, there were quite a few years we didn't even have a car or anything because we just couldn't afford it. Yeah. So there we go. That's that one. Works on kids 12 and under. So what would you be willing to pay for such a device? I would have been willing to pay a lot of money for such a device. You know what you I mean? You wouldn't need but... childcare anymore. You just, it's yeah, like, no. I've got to go to work. Okay, pause. pause. And then when you come back home, I'm here, ready, let's go. <laughs> We've got and a great day. <laughs> that would be great.
Okay, a hundred dollars. Let's make it a hundred. But a hundred dollars really? was a lot of money back then. Really, like that is a pretty. Oh yeah, bad. Look, we don't want to. We don't want to. We don't want to sort of take advantage of. So Only no, I I think even more than that. I'd think like a parent's like that would be an invaluable. Think about they they're paying like two hundred dollars a day on childcare. Maybe about a hundred dollars a day back then on to be in a childcare centre. A hundred dollars a day. So that would get rid of that for all the months and years. <laughs> That's a bit much. <laughs> Maybe you could say only for nine nine ninety nine. That's probably why you know there were so many people back then that you know they didn't have it. <laughs> so there we go. Maybe it's um, probably why it doesn't exist. Maybe um a little bit more realistic there. Nine thousand nine hundred, so ten thousand dollars. But that's, think about that's that's a hundred days of childcare. I know it is childcare. That's three months. But of at a the child. same time, that's very inaccessible to a lot of. A lot of people. That would have been totally inaccessible to me back then because, you know, we were paying... What about $9,000 or $10 a week? $10 a week for, for how long would that be? Oh, to rent it, rent. Oh, $10, $10 a week, a week to rent. rent. So oh, well, that's to... pretty good. I think people would just do that. But if you wanted to buy it, because there are yeah. people that do want to buy it. <laughs> no, let's just make it $100. Let's make it wow, accessible. Wow, excessively cheap. Like, to people. Every and child to rent care, $5 Every childcare centre in the world would, would shut down. Broke. However, remember, a childcare centre is not just to care for your child. It's actually teaching them the valuable yeah, skills they need. For, so it's actually not... socialisation Not a everything. replacement for a childcare centre at all. Okay, So great. Better, better say, no, not replacement for childcare. Okay, great. I, I'd say we only need one more item now. What's one more item that parents can buy from this site? So I can think of another time that I would have liked to have used this um, remote controller and I would have pressed the rewind button. I remember when I was taking you to meet one of um, was a relation, like a cousin. Yeah. A dis like a you know, the third cousin or something, and you'd never met them before, and they were an older person. Yeah. Thank God, goodness they were older, actually, because I think they, they were a bit hard of hearing, and they didn't <laughs> actually hear exactly what you said, or maybe they heard it, but they thought, that can't be right. Okay. Type thing. You uh, Here I was, I was proud to, you know, introduce you, and here's Philip, he's four years old, whatever it was, Yeah. and you look at them and you say, you're a bum. <laughs> like that you're a bum <laughs> to the to your cousin who is literally you know my cousin your cousin who's literally I, he's trying to think how old they were um they're probably in their late 60s early 70s and you said to them you're a bum like that and they said pardon like that and at first i don't know whether they just they'd heard it and they thought that maybe it was did you really say that or whether yeah. they really didn't hear what you said now, in that respect, I would have pressed the rewind button. <laughs> then I, I just thought of another thing that would be a useful accessory. Yep, polite spray. I was just writing it as you're talking. Uh, is that? Did you see what I wrote? No. It was no, just in your I head. Just, I was going to say some sort of a spray. Some sort of a spray. And I was just thinking polite spray. Spray in the child's mouth. And it's instant good manners. Exactly. You know how they say, wash out your mouth, blah, blah, blah. I was thinking, well, we polite think spray. A, we think alike. There we go. Well, there we go, polite spray. So write the little spiel for this one, because I wrote the spiel for the other one. Okay. And then you can write how much money it is. Ever had an embarrassing moment where your child says something that makes you want the ground to just... We swallow you up and wipe everyone's memories for good. Well... No need for that. Not that polite spray isn't such a drastic thing that, that alters your child's thinking and makes them say things that they don't really say. I, I consider no, no, that no, quite no. drastic. Rather than sitting there and telling them we don't say these things, just that's the most laziest pair ever. Just spray, okay, now you're polite. Can I just <laughs> say something? <laughs> Trying to reason with children, especially young children, <laughs> you get nowhere. You'll, you'll end up ripping all your hair out and still not achieve anything. Believe me, I know. I've got more experience looking after kids than you. <laughs> That's actually I've, funny. I've looked after a lot more kids than you have in your life. You've looked after two. I've looked well, after actually, looked the most challenging two. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Well, No, maybe... I've looked after a lot more challenging. I'm talking about a child that will bite every five minutes given the opportunity. Did their parents pack them enough lunch at all? We had this thing where if a child was, was like that, you would have a shadower. So um, I would often be a shadower for that child where I'm with that child all the time, spending the entire day. But, but then that's hard because I've also got all these reports and stuff I've got to write about the children. So 
Yeah. <laughs> We won't get into the the um, inefficiencies of childcare and the um, simply uh, this is the how simply <laughs> use the controller above. So this way you're selling yeah. two things to rewind the event. Or they could just use this if they just want their child to generally speak good. Yeah, they could, but... How was your day at school, honey? It was wonderful. I learned so many amazing things. Thank you so much as a parent for putting me in this delightful school with the most groundbreakingly amazing teachers I've ever had. You know what I mean? <laughs> you could literally sell this for a <laughs> Well, no need for such drastic action. Simply use the controller above to rewind the event, then spray polite spray, <laughs> spray polite. into your child's mouth and also in on their head so that they, they think a lot um, more politely too. Rest assured your little angel will so, live well, up to that name. Yeah. Well, no need for such drastic action. Simply use the controller above to rewind the event, then spray polite spray into your child's mouth and on their head, and rest assured your little angel will live up to that name. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. How much is that polite spray? Okay, that's going to be... Let's make everything 100 bucks. Nice and easy. And how many sprays do you get in it? So that would... 100 sprays. So it's like a dollar a, a spray. Dollar a so spray. that's pretty economical. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it comes with 100 sprays or something. Yeah, italics. Put it in italics. Do you find this really easy to use? This, mm. Like, if you were developing a website, this is something you'd find this is really easy to use, eh? It is. So it's got no artificial colours, flavours, or... <laughs> well, you know... Preservatives. Got... Yep. So when does it go off? That's my question. How long does it... Doesn't. It but doesn't I mean, you, some parents could use that in a day. <laughs> comes with a hundred sprays and how long does each spray last each spray well, lasts I don't one hour like spelling colors like it's just, it's just, it's just <laughs> forget it it's there's a u in it you know <laughs> every word's like colors no. not you're wrong diana flavors no you're wrong diana but this is how we this, spell it in australia this is how we spell colors and flavors it has a u in it okay so it comes with a hundred sprays and in brackets sprays last one hour and a half now how long once you spray them how long do they politely a hundred minutes Okay, so uh, this page is basically finished. Mm. One thing back then I thought was really funny they had, you never see this on websites now. I think they call it Marquee. This is something they did back then. I'll just put this special deal, 50% of all products um, site-wide, not worldwide. Your children and you need these products. So you're probably thinking, wow, the that's children, very... The children won't say that they need it. <laughs> They'll probably like to use it on the parents, the, the remote control anyway. <laughs> so this is um, something they had back then. If we go to see Marquee here, mm -hmm. we finish. Now, this is very interesting. We can have a scroll feature. So oh, I'll show you I know what, this what you looks mean. Like. It, then it's, it's constantly scrolling. It's constantly yeah, special deal. Fifty yeah. percent on all products worldwide. Make sure you know that's something that was so common back yeah, then. Yeah, you probably. know what I mean? You can change the speed that it moves at and all that too. And if mm. if, if instead of just scrolling one side, the only side, thing is this yeah. week and next week. Draft concept by arts. Yeah, we can change that. that. We that we can change that. Changed. But do you, do you like having that little thing at the top? That's pretty cool. Uh, make it look a little bit better because it's sort of hard to see. So bold. What else? Underline. Yep. Maybe bigger text. Yep. Increased font size. Fantastic. Um, how fast do you want it to go? Speed amount. So not too fast. <laughs> I was going to have it going lightning speed. <laughs> okay. How fast? At maximum twenty. I wouldn't say any more than twenty because it'll be too fast otherwise. No, 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 that's really too fast. You have to click preview to see what it looks like. Well, it's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Would anyone ever see that? No, not really. That's what I was thinking. But leave it anyway. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that can be part you of... You don't want to miss. It, it's funny, it says you don't want to miss this, but it's so, it's so fast you can't even see it anyway. <laughs> so they will miss it. <laughs> 
love it. Actually, that's oh. really funny. That could even be a game in itself. Parents could even use this yeah. to get the child to sit down and they have to work out yeah, what, what it is. Okay. They'll be there for the entire day. So. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Um, soon. Coming soon. So there, there's two products we currently sell, but coming soon. What are some new products? Just the title. Just like coming. H multiplier? What's yeah. that too out of interest? I'll tell you in a second. Okay. In a second. Turn back time. Remember that? Sure. 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 That's it. Okay. Sure. Okay. So she turn said... back time. And what, what's the third product that's coming soon? One there's no, product. there's, I can't think of any other. Oh, others. really? No. You cannot think of any product that would help you look after a kid, such as invincibility powder or something. You put it in their nappy and your babies are invincible, like they could run into the road and not get killed. Like, I think a lot of parents would love something like that, invincibility powder. Well, we could extend the polite spray to, you know, not to... No, no, new product. Them... Come on, we're trying to make money here. We don't put all these products in one. Invincible or something. Think of something else. Like, there are so many things. You can use... Well, they shouldn't really be in that situation. Because imagine how the freaked out the car drive, you know, the person <laughs> in the car. They <laughs> suddenly run over okay, a run child. And the child goes smashing and they're like, and they're like that. And, and the then child, the child child walks away. And then the child... And, and you spray giggling. the polite... And then you spray the polite thing. Shh, shh, shh. And then... Thanks. That felt great. Do it again. You know? <laughs> but then they might do it to a child that doesn't actually oh, yeah, have yeah. that infant. No, that could lead to all sorts no, of things. No, but that means a product every parent needs. Invincibility. <laughs> and what about the underneath no longer available? Some products that they used to have but maybe they had to get rid of. No longer available. Okay, let's think of products that... Would cause problems. Would cause problems. Really yeah, serious problems. Because there's a lot of parents that don't like changing nappies. Permanent nappy. Self-cleaning nappy. But that would be a good thing. That should no, but be... maybe it's a self-cleaning nappy, but it didn't work so well that it caused, I don't know, cancer in the children or something. That's because... awful. Well, no, but that's why thinking... they got rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> These more... are products that were discontinued because they were problematic. No, I was thinking more of a spray or a powder used down there that then stopped the number ones and number twos from even occurring. But then obviously, so that they didn't have okay, to okay. change nappies. But then the problem is it ended up causing a bit of a backload of stuff. No expulsion and... powder, maybe. No expulsion powder. Yeah. So write it in. No expulsion powder. Come on. We've got to write these in. Uh, so and let's otherwise... say anti out. Just the wording. It's just a bit of a negative word. Crap no more. I just wish it didn't have to have a swear word in it. You know what but I mean? But crap is not. It's a swear word. Is it really? It's a swear word. Did you know I got in trouble at school once in primary school? I said bummer. And that was the, uh, the teacher was like out of the sports okay, game Okay, one and two, no more. You know, bummer. Did you know that bummer? No, I didn't. Is a bad word. Uh, I, I was like trying to throw a ball into something. They said, throw the ball into the, and I throw the ball into the hoop and roll in the line, throwing it. And I'm like, oh, bummer when I'm in, uh, and the, out, out of the line. You don't use those bad words here. Don't swear. Well, and I was like, wait, bummer is When you called word. one of our relatives that you met with, <laughs> bummer. Time, you're a bummer. <laughs> it's an you extension know? of that. Okay. Mm. Okay. One and two, no more. And what, two more products that, no. <laughs> available one and two no <laughs> i just realized that okay here we go Pre prevents tv eyes but it didn't work you know because parents used to always circle say eyes. so people don't get square eyes from the tv yeah yeah circle eyes maintain eye circ circulator eye <laughs> circulator <laughs> that just sounds so funny eye circulator like what is even <laughs> And what is the last one? And that's basically for children that watch too much um, TV. television and they... I mean, kids don't watch cool. TV anymore. No, they, they don't, but they did I know, then. that's what's funny. Like, TV was a big thing back then for kids, but now it's like screen. Like, we'd say yeah. screen time because I know. the kids are on their phones, they're on their Nintendo Switches, they're on their PCs. Less, though, these days. I find PCs, although I'm a person who absolutely agrees with the idea of a desktop PC, every child should have a desktop PC, mm. a lot of children are just getting iPads instead these days and that bugs me that they've got an iPad but not a because an iPad is more of a consumer thing but a child can't learn it to do things with just a consumer product even though there are apps that you do all these cool things but I feel like there's a lot more for a child to learn if they've got a desktop computer as opposed to a you know an iPad that both are great learning devices iPad I'm just thinking an iPad 
back then, yeah. people would have thought of it like a yeah. <laughs> that goes over an the eye. iPad. Okay. Do you know what I mean? I think coming soon, iPad, because that came about, it's 2003, iPad came out, what was it, 2010? So seven years. <laughs> iPad, <laughs> literally. Back That's then. an iPad. That wouldn't have not, yeah, exactly. What year did the iPad come out? 2010. Several years from now, because <laughs> it's literally seven years. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So there is your wonderful website. What we're going to do is we're going to now save this. Now. <laughs> That's a game in itself, trying to read that. So I just realised um, that that, what we wrote at the top, because if it's, because it's on, at, in the outside content, that actually appears on all pages that. Okay. So they're always aware that there's a special deal. It's not okay. just on the accessories thing. So here we are now in Internet Explorer 6. Uh, no one uses Internet Explorer anymore because it's been discontinued, but this is what a lot of people would have been using back then. And we've got your Raising Children in the Early Noughties, Copyright Super Nanny 2003. We've got What Are Children, Varieties, and the famous Under Construction. That was so big back then to have the page Under Construction. A little animated GIF is what you'd call that. Um, we've got all the What's New, Key Milestones, stones and then try it out let's go to accessories see if it actually takes you there accessories fantastic um just do not show this message again okay and then there you go then you've got the kid controller and all this stuff here and you've got that famous uh, marquee going across the top of the page like that okay so there we go you've made a really interesting website but honestly we barely even scratched the surface of what you can do here with this product if you really wanted to actually publish this online and make it live you would have to choose to either host it locally on your own computer which means you turn the computer off and the site goes down or you would choose a web hosting company to host it for you so it's up to or just leave your computer on 24 hours Hours yeah, a day. You could, but then there's the electricity and stuff, you know, but you could use a web hosting company so it's up pretty much 24 7 unless that company has difficulties. But you'd also need to buy a domain name so that people can type in dinerswebsite.com or whatever you make the address into their browser and access the site. Like, you could actually give this to someone now and if someone wanted to actually. Pop Children this up, are us. Yeah. Because that's remember, right. Toys are us and um, all those things back then. Would... Type in a domain here. This is on a website called godaddy.what? Children are us. Sounds Children. like some sort of a new dinosaur. <laughs> Childrenrust.com. <laughs> Childrenrust.com. Because com. you know how Toys R Us yeah. and, and, you know, you've got, got know. all those companies that say so R Us. If you wanted to buy that, so the choice is GoDaddy said you can either buy Childrenrust.com for $6,000, mm -hmm. right, and then you pay $28 a year to maintain that. So you'd actually have to, it's it's actually for sale right now. The current owner of childrenrust.com is selling no it way. for 6000 So you could actually. So it exists. It exists. And you could buy it right now for $6,000. I just made up that name. Let's actually visit the site. Fun activities for adults. I bedroom fun. fun activities for adults. Toys that doesn't sound children. very No, this is our friendly. order. Yeah, it's for sale. See, to purchase, call this to purchase it. So you could actually purchase that. So you can either pay $6,000 for that or you could pay $10 for childrenrust.com.au. Great alternative. Really? Is that, I mean, what are you going to pay? $6,000 or $10? Gonna, just to add the AU? Well, fine. Add the <laughs> AU. So that's what you do. You click add to cart, buy that, oh, and then, you'd, then you'd, you'd actually upload your site and, you know, to a hosting and it's, thing. it's an extra, it's not just 6000 but... 28 a year. Yeah, and you always have to pay a money a year. You never but own a website. This one? Oh, no, this one's 20. Year. Yeah, then but 21 then a year it? after that. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so it's 20. So once you own a website, you're mm. usually paying something like $20 a year to maintain it. But when you originally oh, get it, that's what you do. That's the steps. So you'd have to find someone to host it and also, um, you know, you'd pay for a domain name. So that's mm -hmm. like, you know, kidsrus.com, something like that. See, hosting, domain name. Um, but these days, if you really wanted to make a website, you wouldn't use this anymore, this program you've just used. You'd use something like Wix or Squarespace, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, but if you really wanted to use a desktop program like FrontPage, what we just used, you'd use something like Adobe Dreamweaver. Um, anyway, we'll finish this video off now. What do you think of Microsoft FrontPage? Do you think it was set out easy? Was it easy to make a website? Yes. There was. And I like the template because um, it gives you all these options and it looks really professional. And just even the for, you know, the fact it is a template, yeah. it's sort of, you put this there, you put that there, etc. And it just yeah. makes it look really professional. Yeah, and, exactly. Exactly. And well, organised. Fantastic. Really People organized. will probably say, let's try a Wix website when next. Yeah. <laughs> a modern version. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of OS First Summer. We'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.